My name is Susan Stepp from Brisbane, Australia. I'm an Occupational Health and Safety Consultant. I'm also Managing Director of SAC Masula Proprietary Limited, which is located in Australia. I'm going to talk to you about the article which is entitled The Hygienic Efficacy of Different Hand Drying Methods, a Review of the Literature. The authors of this article include Twin Wei Wong from the School of Public Health and Institute of Health and Biomedical Innovation. This school is located at Queensland University of Technology in Brisbane, Australia. Dr. Wun Chung Ma from the Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, which is located in Guangdong Province in Quanxiao, China, and myself. This article is appearing in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The effectiveness of hand hygiene in infection control has been recognised since Swimrell's observations in 1847 that the implementation of hand washing reduce the deaths of women from pupuro fever. For centuries, hand washing has been considered as the most important measure to reduce the burden of healthcare associated infection. Until now, however, a great number of studies have focused on the topics such as hand washing techniques, selection and handling of hand washing agents, and how to improve hand hygiene compliance for healthcare workers. Less is known about the role of hand drying after washing and the relative efficacy of different hand drying methods in reducing contamination. Paper towels, cloth towels and hot air dryers are commonly used to dry washed hands. Hands can also be dried by evaporation. In recent years, jet air dryers have also been introduced. Although there is consensus that hand drying should be an essential part of hand hygiene process, there is less consensus regarding the most effective method of hand drying. The purpose of this paper is to provide a systematic review of research examining the performance of different hand drying methods and then recommend the best hand drying option for healthcare providers. Overall, the hygienic efficacy of hand drying methods is not only the percentage dryness of the hands, but also the removal of bacteria from the washed hands and prevention of cross contamination within the washroom environment. Based on our review, Cloth roller towels are not recommended for use in healthcare settings because they can become common use towels at the end of the roll and can be a source of pathogen transfer to clean hands. Hot air dryers are not recommended because such dryers are relatively slow and noisy and their hygiene performance is questionable. The poor hygiene performance of hot air dryers could be due to their low drying efficiency and consequently the greater amount of water that remains on the hands. There is little agreement regarding the relative effectiveness of jet air dryers. Some studies suggest that jet air dryers have inferior effectiveness when it comes to the issue of hygiene, while others show they are a safe and effective means of hand drying. Until conclusive evidence in support of jet air dryers is available, their use in healthcare industry is not recommended due to their relatively poor hygiene performance and the possibility of air dispersal of bacteria laden droplets. Therefore, this makes paper towels, where little movement is generated, the most hygienic option of hand drying methods in healthcare. Most studies showed that paper towels can dry hands efficiently, remove bacteria effectively, and cause less contamination of the washroom environment. It is likely that paper towels work better because they physically remove bacteria from the hands, whereas hot air dryers and jet air dryers cannot. However, the maintenance of a clean environment around the paper towels is important. Paper towels deposited in bins could act as a bacteriological reservoir if disposal is not managed properly. Regular sanitary cleaning of washrooms is the only way to reduce bacteria numbers and prevent cross-contamination. Moreover, paper towels require delivery to users from dispensers. The risk of potential contamination between dispenser exits, paper towels and hands should be considered in the design, construction and use of paper towel dispensers. Architects working in the healthcare industry should also be aware of these issues when designing equipment for new facilities. Although studies have demonstrated the importance of thorough hand drying after washing, the role of hand drying has not been widely promoted and its relevance to hand hygiene and infection control seem to be overlooked. Lack of attention to this aspect may negate the benefits of careful hand washing in healthcare. Our findings may have implications for health professionals and medical educators aiming to design effective programs to promote hand hygiene practices. 
Healthcare-associated infection is a major problem for patient recovery and continued health and safety. The impact of healthcare-associated infection implies increased lengths of hospital stay, high costs for patients and their families, additional financial burden for healthcare systems, more serious illness and ex excess deaths. Hands are the most common vehicle to transmit healthcare-associated pathogens. With good attention to hand hygiene, lower incidence of healthcare-associated infection has been well documented in medical literature. As the transmission of bacteria is more likely to occur from wet skin than from dry skin, the proper drying of hands should be an integral component of effective hand hygiene procedures in healthcare settings. Based on our view, drying hands thoroughly with single-use disposable paper towels is the preferred method of hand drying in terms of hand hygiene. However, what types of paper towel should be used for hand drying? Does the quality of paper towel have an impact on hand hygiene compliance? When recycled paper is used for hand drying, what kinds of studies are appropriate to assess the cost benefit of using recycled paper? Many questions remain unanswered. Different types of paper towel may have different absorption characteristics, which can influence their capacity to remove bacteria from washed hands. The quality of paper towels is important because poor quality towels can damage the skin by abrasion and ineffective drying. Recycled paper would be more acceptable in the future because it can contribute to environmental sustainability. Such research may have potential to significantly improve hand hygiene practice and sustainable development. So what are the takeaway messages from the article? Firstly, hand washing is the most important measure to reduce the burden of healthcare associated infection. As the transmission of bacteria is more likely to occur from wet skin than from dry skin, the proper drying of hands after washing should be an essential component of hand hygiene procedures. The hygienic efficacy of hand drying methods is not only the percentage dryness of the hands, but also the removal of bacteria from washed hands and the prevention of cross-contamination. From a hygiene standpoint, paper towels are superior to air dryers, therefore paper towels should recommend, be recommended for use in healthcare settings. And lastly, the provision of paper towels should be considered as a means of improving hand hygiene compliance among healthcare workers.